guys, it's Jessie and today I'm doing another book review. This time it's on one that I just finished and it is The Fifth Wave by Rick Yancey. I absolutely loved this book. Um, I think it was just fantastic the way it was written and again I never thought I was a huge sci-fi person but it turns out with the right book I totally am because this was so enjoyable and it's a 500 page read and I read it within like four days because I wanted to hurry and get it done before the movie and it was just it was really great. The Fifth Wave is about Cassie. Cassie goes from being a normal high school teenage girl with really you know no worries of the world except for you know with the little drama within your high school but then the alien invasion happens and it sets everything off and life is never the same again. Her um, family at the start of this alien invasion and she does a great job describing these first four waves that happen and pretty much knock out like 97 I think it was percent of the population and so it was insane. Her point of view right off of the bat. I loved that the book just jumped right in and got started and then as it kind of unraveled a little bit it started piecing things together kind of going back in time so I think that was a great element. I also love that we got to hear her thought process, which was really funny, and I think it just added to the story that you got to hear a little bit more of her, uh, like, inside her head and be there and get some thoughts and different things like that. As her family falls apart and the world is coming to an end, um, she's just trying to survive. The story really picks up when her little brother gets taken away and she had made this promise that she would come find him and save him and get him back. That way their family could still be together, you know, sort of. Um, and so she goes on this survival um, mode and tries to go find him and save him from this camp that he's at. And along the way she meets a couple different characters. Um, so she meets this guy Evan who becomes a pretty great little love interest. I love the little story between the two of them and of course different things unravel from there. And um, anyways he helps her infiltrate this camp to get her brother and then the whole like world just yeah, it just goes to pieces. Um, and so the action-packed scenes there were really great and pretty descriptive, and I loved it, and I think it was just fantastic. And then the way the book ended, I was just like, oh no, like, you left me on this huge cliffhanger. I have to know what happens. So like I said, we were just left, like, on this cliffhanger, and I had to know the answer, so thank goodness Infinite Sea was there um, to kind of help pick up where we left off but I think this story was amazing and it was so action-packed and it had funny bits here and there and I really really enjoyed it. I would give this book a 5 out of 5 because I enjoyed it so much and once it really started going I couldn't put it down. I just think it was fantastic, the writing was incredible, you really got to know the characters. Um, my one complaint was at first it was really hard to judge like whose point of view was telling the story because a couple different people kind of picked up along the way and you got to hear their side which was nice it was just kind of hard to piece together who was actually talking but once you kind of figure out the the flow of it it made a lot more sense and made it easier to read I think one of my favorite quotes from this was some things you can never leave behind they don't belong to the past they belong to you and I think that's so relevant whether it was you know during this alien invasion or even today I just feel like it was a really great quote that really spoke to me. Okay, so now I'm going to move into a couple spoilers. So if you haven't read this book, you should leave now, come back when you've read it. For those of you that had read it, stay tuned and let's chat. I definitely want to hear what you thought. I just don't want to give too much away without telling people to leave if they haven't read the book yet. So here we go. So like I said before, I really loved getting Cassie's point of view and being able to be in her head with her thoughts. So I want to know what you guys thought. Did you guys enjoy that? Did you like it? Did you laugh like I did? So comment below and let me know if you did. Because um, I think that was a really, really great element to this. And I thought it just added some humor when things were getting really deep and dark. Um, and so I just think that was just fantastic for Rick to throw into that story to give us more of Cassie to really relate to her and kind of get to know her a little bit better. Okay, and then when I found out that Ben was still alive, I was like, what the heck, this this can't be true. And I was like, okay, what a really small world, and how is this all going to come together? Is he going to meet Cassie again? Um, so I definitely think that was a nice twist that he was still there. And the whole time you think it's him, but you're not sure because they haven't really revealed that's his name. You just kind of know that he's a soldier or that he was zombie, but it didn't really click together until they actually called him Ben, and then that's when everything, I was just like, oh my god, I had no idea. Didn't really see it coming, but was kind of excited, and I just wanted to know how these two would come together again, and whether they would or not. Okay, my next part that totally made me freak out was with Evan and Cassie. Their little love story was so freaking cute, and I loved that he was so protective and so 
well, somewhat honest with her to start with about at least his feelings. And then, yes, he was hiding things, and you just wanted to, like, slap him and tell him, you know, knock it off, just get it all out there, she can handle this. And at least so that she had somebody to trust, because every time it seemed like he made her trust him, something came up again, and um, this whole new, like, argument or banter between the two would start up, and you were just like, come on, like just get it out already. And I wanted them to be together. So it was super, super cute of them. Did anyone else enjoy this? Because I loved that they had a little, you know, something going on in there. Definitely wanted to see if it could develop more, if they could actually be together, even though there was differences between the two. You know, obviously one had a side to choose and Cassie had already made her decision of what she was going to do, whatever it took to get her brother back. So I love that Evan got to help her get her brother and then we're left with thinking that he was dead and I just in my head I'm like he cannot die like he has to be alive there had to be something to this and so I think leaving us on that cliffhanger I was just like heartbroken but then of course Ben comes back in you know and he was also there to help save her little brother Sammy and so I think it was super cute but I was pissed that he did not remember her I was like come on you're such a jerk but again it played to that whole thing where he it, was that jock in high school and didn't really notice Cassie, but she had loved him. And so I think it kind of was this great little circle of bringing things together. And I love that Ben also really cared for Sammy and that the two of them got to rescue each other. And then I was super shocked that Ben had kissed Cassie. Didn't see that coming. And I was like, please don't fall for him. Like, I love Evan. Evan has to be alive. You have to go for him. So I think this Definitely gave me a little bit of that little romance that I love to see and had those cute little stories. But again, totally left me on a cliffhanger and I was like, what the? You know, did anybody else feel the way I did? I hated ending this because it left you on such a big cliffhanger and so many questions to be answered. So I am getting ready to jump into the infinite sea. I cannot wait to get some answers. I know I've heard that things aren't as great there. So let me know if you thought it was better. Um, I'm a little hesitant but excited to hopefully get some answers, and then I know I'm definitely excited for the, the last star and to finish this trilogy and see kind of where it ranks against some of those others, of you know, in the similar kind of genre, because I definitely loved this one and hope that the rest is just as good. Um, so like I said earlier, my next pickup is going to be The Infinite Sea, just to keep the series going. Comment below and let me know what you thought of it, because I would love to hear um, everybody's thoughts, and hopefully there's someone out there that likes it and can tell me a little bit more um, about it because I've, I'm, like I said, I'm hesitant to start it, but I'm excited. So um, that's what I'll be reading next. Thank you again, you guys, for tuning in. Um, I definitely have loved this book community so far and cannot thank you enough for um, subscribing and following me on Instagram. I will definitely leave all the links below if you haven't followed me on Instagram yet. Um, as well as some other places that you can find me. I would love to connect more with you. I think it's been such a pleasure getting to know everyone I have so far and really look forward to meeting more of you. Let me know what you're going to be reading um, and I'll see you guys soon. I'm going to have my January wrap up and a book haul and a TBR so I'm really excited about um, what's ahead. So I hope you guys all have a really great day. Thank you again and I will see you soon. Bye!